Okay, let's go off her. Let's go off over here. Let's open her up a bit. There we go. Fifteen miles an hour on the road. Oh, what a joke. I was doing 30, 37. Can you hear the brakes? They make this sort of ticking noise because they've got um, the rotors have got indentations on the edges. So it sounds a bit like a bicycle. Right, we'll go off down here and we'll walk. Let's go down here. Take it easy, there's a lot of walkers around here. It's a nice day for it. We'll go off road a bit. Morning. Yeah, I think she goes well. That was 30 miles an hour. I don't know what that is. You guys can tell me. What is 30 miles an hour in? Only problem with the steering damper. Oh, it limits your steering capability. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's a nice day for a ride today, guys. And we're gonna we're gonna cut over and go around the back way, which I think is probably safest at the moment. Let's just do a jump up here. There you go. Not as many people around here. I just prefer it when there's not as many people. Get it open up here. And then we can... Thank you. Cheers. Should we have an explore? Oh, I don't know where I am. Let's go through here. Where I fit. Okay, this is the problem with having 720 mil bars. Okay, we're off road. So we test out the uh, rock shock. Let's see what it's like. Oh, slippy. <laughs> 30 miles an hour, a bit quick, I think, on here. Whoa. Suspension's good. So I haven't got stabilization switched on. Wow, it's muddy. Shit. So much mud. Whoa, so much mud. Whoa. I know I am. I went miles wrong. Okay, let's get through here. It's a protect with this, it's the only thing on these sides, like this. Okay, where's the leather? Old scrub. Let's go down here. Brakes are good, they're so strong. If anything, I find them a bit too strong, I need to get used to them. Okay, those are quite nice. I don't know where this goes to. Green Lane, Mottingham Lane. So I'm in South East London. Let's have a look. Rock Shock um, air suspension is a Monarch RL, 165mm on the back. I tell you what, I can hardly feel these potholes. And this is where I want it to be. Only problem, it's a bit muddy. Okay. Well, it's very muddy, but perfect for filming. 
slide so easily. You can see, you can see my slide. Cool. Okay, look. Let's have a look at these. So, I'm sorry, guys, before you beat me up. It's got no bumpers on it, has it? Um, so we've got the Monarch shock on the back. These are four piston Magora MT5E brakes. Got them front, sorry, got them back even, and front. Standard shock on the front. Um, I think there's some new ones coming out at the moment, so I'm gonna have a look for one of those. Um, it's got the Storm XL160 rotors with anodized red bolts. Um, there's obviously the washers and the spacers to set it all up, but it's pretty easy to install. And um, then the upgraded bracket here, it's, it's been a good machine to me. So I've had it about a year and a half, I suppose. Um, yeah, just very dirty, but cool machine. Does exactly what I wanted it to. And it's got a good range as well. And these parts here actually clip out. You can unclip these and you can put different colors. So I've got about six different colors. I've got reds and blues and silvers and blacks and these ones and orange ones. And I'll probably change them over on a uh, sort of a weekly basis once the sun starts getting a bit better. But I think we should get the drone up. We'll have a look around and then we'll, we'll see where we go from there. This just by the way are the, uh, the brake levers. Brake levers are really, really nice. They're made from a, a sort of ceramic, um, they call it a carbon, but it's, it's not really a carbon. It could be an injection molded um, form of carbon, but it's just the way they, they operate. I mean, they are literally on or off. And you can see the brake light down here turn on. When I literally just touch it, you can feel the micro switch actually pull and start operating. So pretty, pretty cool. They've got full adjustment. You can adjust them inside here. This is where you, um, you bleed them. Um, but it's nice to have this sort of micro switch built into this section. So you can see it bends on that pivot pin. And that's your micro switch. You can feel it clicking and, and actually moving around. And then they're progressive. You only need to really pull them with just one finger and you've got your back wheel locking up. I'm very impressed with that. See those brakes? Awesome. So I'm doing 25. They're really, you can see they're really, really nice. Just the handle has and doesn't have any play in it at all. Just a quick just a quick pull and it applies the brakes. Really cool. Okay, so let's let's go up there. Easy enough now to get your pins in this case, which is what I love. Everybody's getting their shorts on, they're getting outside. Yeah, you see, I was doing 30 miles an hour up the hill, no problem whatsoever. So let's keep going. This is just one finger on the uh, on the actual handle. And then if I just apply it, just instant. I mean, so so powerful, so powerful. Guys definitely need to be looking at these brakes. And then let's go up here. Okay, so we're going to go along here. Cut up here. Just watch them rotate slightly. Okay, let's get going. Okay, let's get a move on. Hoping you can hear this audio, guys. Okay, there's going to be a bump coming up, I think, somewhere here. Where is it? Uh, maybe not.
There it is. Knew there was a bump somewhere. Just couldn't quite locate it. Okay, so let's go up here. I see a 15 mile an hour sign, I already know I'm beating it. <laughs> Too used to Porsche turbos and Teslas and McLarens than I am um, electric scooters, that's for sure. Never been down here. So let's have a little look and see if there is anything down here. Brakes are so good. Literally just one thing you know, it just gives you that confidence that it's gonna stop. Not good when you get dust in your from those shoes. Yeah, this is a good route. And here we are. And then we can go back onto the pavement. And then we just go very slowly down here. But there's gonna be somebody there's somebody here on the pavement, so we'll just go slow past this guy. <clears throat> Sorry, so <laughs> Thank you.